you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be setting up our own TeamSpeak free server if you're a gamer it's going to be ideal for you on a virtual private server now we're going to be using digital oceans and it's only five dollars a month so let's set it up we're going to put in here our TeamSpeak and also pick our package where the server's based ie New York for this case and also we're going to be using Ubuntu you can use whatever you like here 32 bit or 64 bit I'm just going to use this one once we've done that we need to come down make sure that's ticked and click on create that does take a bit of time but once they've done that they will send you an email with your password and your username and you can see here your IP address this is your IP address for all your droplets you're also going to need some programs now win SCP is a free program it's like an FTP client with loads of other stuff bundled into it um, also we've got putty we need that as well as a terminal and we're going to need our server software from TeamSpeak site here just download this we just want the link we don't need any of this stuff we can skip that and then copy this link here okay right click and copy that and we're going to use that a little bit later on paste that into notepad or something okay so let's open up win scp now we're going to put in our ip address that we've got here once you put your ip address in you can leave the port as 22 the part uh, the actual username was root the password you can just paste that in it'll be a long password random one log on Now once you're logged in this is what you're looking at basically this is our access to our root directory now you can open up putty from here you will need to put putty into a folder in your programs folder and it will open up just like this now paste in your password or type it in now it won't move along it will stay static that's uh, for some sort of security vision and now we've got um, our login here to our putty now once we've done that we need to get that link that we got earlier on copy that and then type in here wget and then paste that link right click and paste it and hit enter this will then download our team speak now once we get that we're going to need to have a look here you can see it's on our server now now we need to create a user for our server so we'll just quickly add in a user now you can use whatever user you like you don't have to be exactly the same but we'll just add this user in all these commands will be in the description so once we have our user added just go through the motions here and put in all your details that you want to put in some of this stuff is not really that important so you can skip some of it if you wish like I'm gonna do here just agree to that and say yes now what we need to do now is extract our TeamSpeak free files so we're going to use this command here and this will extract all of our uh, TeamSpeak free files from out of that zip file you can right click and paste that and you can also use the tab button and that starts to when you start typing and use tab it will automatically put in what you need there we have our unzipped package now we're going to go back to our console here we need to move this to a better location because we don't want to leave that in our root directory it's not good to run TeamSpeak free from the root directory so we're going to move that to a new location with this command now you can see I used the tab command there or the tab button and that actually finishes the actual path for you once you've done that if we go to the location in the home directory 
hit the refresh button, you can now see we have our user and we also have our package that we want for TeamSpeak free. Okay. So as you can see here, we have all our files. Just gonna hit the back button here and go back to our terminal. Now what we need to do now is we need to use the script that comes with that package and we need to symbolically link that, okay? So we're gonna quickly type in our command here. And what this is gonna do is link it to a new location. So if the server crashes, it will auto restart. So there's a bit of a lengthy bit of code here. So I'll take my time so you can see it and follow along, or you can just copy and paste it if you wish. Now this script is actually in the package folder of TeamSpeak. You'll see it inside there. And this is the location that we're going to be putting it into, etc init.d that will be the location for it and we're going to be calling that teamspeak free inside that folder so just hit enter now we need to tell it to start speak teamspeak once the droplet starts by using this command and once that's done we can then start our server for the first time. So we're just going to quickly use this command to start up our server, which would then propagate a token that we can use and a password for our ad admin account. So we just hit enter and you can see copy down the token and the password. And now we're going to open up our normal client for TeamSpeak here, put in our IP address push connect and now you will need to put in your token that you saved here is my token I've blurred some of it out but basically that will be the token and you can now see we have server admin on our new created server you've got full access here you can customize it how you like now this is a 32 man server that you can host and if you want to host any more than 32, you will need to start thinking about getting a license, a non-profit license. But here you can see all your admin permissions and stuff like that. So if we take a quick look here, you will see right click on this, edit virtual server, and you will see the amount of people that you've got here that you can have. At the moment we've got 32. Now if you do want more than 32 people on your server you'll need to fill out a non-profit license and what that will do is that will give you up to 512 people on your server but you have to be accepted okay and you can get that at teamspeak.com. Anyway so I think that's about it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed the video then hit the like button guys and also hit the subscribe button to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video. So thanks again thanks for your support bye for now.